the projectile crosses the points a comma d in time interval t1 seconds and b comma c in time interval t2 seconds then t1 square minus t2 square is equals to 8 h by g when any body is projected with a certain initial velocity by making an angle theta with the horizontal direction with the same velocity that body strikes the ground but the condition is air resistance is completely negligible in projectile motion our assumption is air resistance is negligible a and d a projectile crosses these two points within the time t1 seconds the same projectile crosses b and c within the time t2 seconds which is distance between bc and ad when a body is projected from a point with certain velocity vertical component of the velocity ui is equals to u sin theta this is vertical component of the velocity at this point with the same velocity body strikes the ground but the difference is here vertical velocity in upward direction but at this point it is moving in downward direction so at this point final velocity final vertical velocity is equals to minus u sin theta so the time in between these two points t1 seconds and from this point to maximum height height let it be h1 meters so here height is equals to h1 meters next in same way just imagine when a body is projected from b point so it strikes with the same velocity here vertical component of the velocity ui is equals to u dash sin theta with the same velocity it strikes the ground so at this point vy is equals to u dash sin theta and from this point to here height let it be h2 and it crosses these two points within the time t2 seconds take the equation of motion v is equals to u plus at from a to d points final velocity minus u sin theta initial velocity u sin theta and acceleration along vertical direction is g minus g because it is acting in downward direction and time is t1 seconds and from this minus g t1 goes to lhs side g t1 is equals to 2u sin theta then t1 is equals to 2u sin theta by g from b to c points final velocity minus u dash sin theta here u dash sin theta minus g t2 and from this g t2 is equals to 2 u dash sin theta and t2 is equals to 2 u dash sin theta by g but here the given formula in form of t1 square minus t2 square now simplify this squaring on both sides t1 square is equals to 4 u square sin square theta by g square convert this formula in the form of a height multiply and divide with 2 we know u square sin square theta by 2g is equals to maximum height here height is h1 h1 is equals to u square 
sin square theta by 2g so by using t1 square is equals to 8 h1 by g so t1 square is equals to 8 h1 by g t2 is equals to 2 u dash sin theta by g and from this t2 square is equals to 4 u dash square sin square theta by g square. Here also multiply and divide with 2 and from this t2 square is equals to it becomes 8 by g and in place of u dash square sin square theta by 2g take h2. So t2 square is equals to 8 h2 by g and t1 square is equals to 8 h1 by g. And now we want t1 square minus t2 square is equals to 8 h1 by g minus 8 h2 by g. And now take 8 by g common. 8 by g into h1 minus h2. So this height is h1 and this is h2. Here h is the distance between BC and AD but don't confuse here. This distance is vertical distance. So this is h the given distance vertical distance is h. So h1 minus h2 is equals to h. And now in place of h1 minus h2 substitute h 8 h by g t1 square minus t2 square is equals to 8 h by g. So in this derivation the main point is with how much velocity we project a body with the same velocity that projectile touches the ground.